Well, hello there, musky huskies, malodorous malamutes, and pungent pets and wildlife of all shapes and sizes. Riv here, and today we're going to talk about whether you should or should not leave the app formerly known as Twitter. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the content creator who rated this channel in the same category as Fluke Husky, who has like a zillion subscribers. Yes, that category was mediocre, but it works. Uh, thanks. Alright, so most of you have been on Twitter. If you haven't, count yourself lucky. You don't even need to watch this video because you're not there. Twitter started out pretty good. It's got a nice, clean user interface. It allows videos up to 2 minutes and 20 seconds, which is pretty generous for a social media platform. And it's got a lot of other things about it that people liked, especially me. It became really popular within the furry fandom. But back in 2022, a certain nefarious character named Elon Muskie Husky, uh, I think that's his name, bought Twitter and instituted a bunch of unpopular changes. Some of them beyond unpopular, absolutely harmful. He started out his reign of terror by firing most of his staff and then proceeded to unban a number of accounts belonging to people who were known to have spread hate and disinformation and violated Twitter's rules. Rules which he then promptly relaxed. Elon was like, hey, hateful, discriminatory, nasty people, come on back, we missed you. He also changed the way blocking works, so now even if you block somebody, they can still see your content if it's public. This was obviously a problem for a lot of people who had blocked others for good reason. Also recently, to add to the giant pile of dung, Elon has been very vocal about his political opinions. Opinions that are not popular in the furry fandom. He's made it so advertisers can buy what's called timeline takeovers, that force you to look at a hashtag or an advertisement for an entire 24 hours. You can't do anything about it. You're just stuck with it there on your timeline. You can't block it. You can't mark it harmful or spammy. It's just there. Elon Musk has implemented so many unpopular and ridiculous changes to the site that the competitors over there at Blue Sky actually have a term for when they get a huge influx of new users because of something Elon did. It's called an EME or an Elon Musk event. There have been several huge migrations over to Blue Sky when Elon pissed everybody off. One of them was the big controversy surrounding Brazil. You can look that up if you want. The other one was recently with the AI and the blocking thing. They're getting more and more and more users coming over from Twitter. And maybe we should consider moving over also. Okay, to be perfectly fair to Mr. Musky Husky, furry Twitter has always seemed to attract negativity. There's a lot of call-outs, some of which are not really justified, some of which are. It was the home to the hyper-political furries who could talk about nothing else, like why do you even have a fursona? You know, the ones that would like shame people who weren't hyper-political and insinuate that because you didn't talk about politics enough that you were hiding something? Those people were like all on Twitter. Now it's absolutely valid to mix politics with your fandom involvement. I'm not saying that, but it's also valid to not. Despite the negatives, I stayed on Twitter just because it worked for me, and the positives outweighed the negatives. Well, until recently. With all these changes that Elon has made, things are getting to the point where I'm actually considering leaving Twitter. So what are the negatives of leaving? Isn't it a positive thing? It's circling the drain, it's going down the toilet, however you want to describe it. It's not a great place to be anymore, so why wouldn't somebody leave? Well, there are valid reasons. The first reason is if you're a working artist or influencer or content creator and you have a big audience on Twitter that you don't want to lose. Not everyone's going to follow you over to another platform. If you have a need to use social media to advertise a product or to get your content out there like I do, it might be valid to stay on there even though you kind of have to hold your nose and admit that you don't like it, but you kind of need it. It's an unfortunate place to be, but some people are in that situation. Maybe you just have a ton of followers over there and you don't want that feeling to go away of having a lot of people who are interested in you. Starting over again could take years on another platform and that's also valid if you just want to keep all those followers. With that said, I think a lot of us would be better served leaving and going to a more positive place. I've been saying this even before the whole Elon thing. Other furry social media is so much more positive. Instagram has been nothing but positive to me, and I've had really good experiences so far with Blue Sky. Blue Sky is probably the number one place people are migrating to from Twitter. If you don't know what Blue Sky is, it's basically like old Twitter back before all the problematic changes were made. 
The format is very much the same. The history of it is kind of confusing. It was somehow sort of affiliated with or developed in collaboration with Twitter, but then it separated. I read the Wikipedia, it's really confusing. But it's been a popular place for people to go, and for good reason. It gives you the same experience that Twitter did without all the negativity, without all the politics, without all the junk that you don't want. They have reasonable rules in place. You can actually block people. Your stuff is not being sold off to AI. It's just overall the experience that people liked about Twitter with nothing that they don't like currently. Now, there's plenty of other options out there. There's Mastodon, there's Instagram, which is more of a photo sharing site. It's a little bit limiting, but it's okay. It's definitely a more positive place than Twitter. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to call it X. I forgot this entire time to call the thing X that everybody still calls Twitter. Another stupid change Elon made. There's Facebook if you're a furry over the age of, I don't know, 70 who uses Facebook. Just kidding, nothing against Facebook people. I use it too just for personal stuff to keep up with family who are like 70 plus years old. And of course, there are places like Telegram and Discord, but they don't really work the same. Those are more like chat sites. So there are a lot of other options out there if you want to go ahead and pull the plug. Am I going to pull the plug? I think eventually I am. I've moved over to Blue Sky. I've been posting more regularly there, and I'm going to try to build up that following on Blue Sky. And once I get enough people over there to where I feel like my messages are getting out there, my content is being shared, I'll probably wind down my involvement with Twitter. I personally don't want to support a turd like Elon Musk who is intentionally inviting hate and disinformation onto his platform, but I don't blame you if you have a need to stay there for some of the reasons I talked about before. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Are you going to leave Twitter? Are you going to stay? Do you think it's truly a toxic environment? Or maybe we're getting a little bit too wound up over this whole thing. Thank you as always to our wonderful patrons. You are so kind and generous and you help keep this content flowing. Thank you so much. Once again, we love you. All right, tricker tweeters. That's all we got for you today. Come on back next week. We're going to talk about some ways to avoid and help with post-con depression. Hope to see you there. Until then, you stay fuzzy.